Hi friends, this is going to be a bit of a bittersweet video. You can see by all the mess around me in the boxes, I am moving and from the title of this video you'll probably be able to tell that I'm leaving LA. I do hope to come back. I was laid off from my job in post-production and I don't really know why. I wasn't given an answer. So as much as that sucks, that's what it is. And um, because of everything I have already been going through and with my apartment being torn apart and needing to kind of move anyway, I decided to leave LA and move back to Sacramento, which is where I'm from. So bittersweet. I'm excited to be going home and to be back with my family and my friends there, but I'm also really going to miss my friends here. I'm going to miss being here. Um, so it's bittersweet, but I have a lot of really fun stuff planned for this last week that I'm here. Tonight, I am going with one of my friends from college and we are going to do this neon sign tour of LA. Not 100% sure how it's what it's going to be. Um, I know that it is in correlation with there's like this neon sign museum in Glendale. So I know it's in correlation with that. But we're going to get on a double decker bus and drive around the city. And I think that's kind of a really cool way to start off my last week here in LA is just getting on a bus and driving or not just a bus, a double decker bus <laughs> and driving around the city for a few hours and seeing all these different sites. So I will take you along with me for the fun adventures I have planned. Let's go have some fun.
next morning because I just knocked out after that last night. But wow, it was so much fun. We had a blast. Um, I will say that like, it, it's gonna, it reminded me how much I love this city and how much I'm actually really gonna miss it. And I have to come back. Like, it, it was a really good reminder. It was a really cool way to kind of say goodbye to the city in a way too, to just like be in a double decker bus and drive around for three hours. It was so much fun. It was incredible. Like I saw the city in a way I hadn't before. Um, it's definitely for uh, like people that live in LA, but if you're a tourist and you're visiting, it's also a super cool thing to get a little bit of history. Um, it is in like contract kind of with the Museum of Neon Lights in Glendale and it they do it in the summertime. So if you're visiting LA in the summer or you live here, check it out. It's super cool. Eric, who does the tours, is so much fun. You'll, I promise you'll have a blast doing it. Today, I'm gonna go um, grab some boxes for moving and then I'm gonna go see probably what's gonna be my last movie here in LA, which like, it's not a big deal because like, it's just going to a movie theater. However, it's always a super cool experience to go to specifically the one I'm gonna go to, which is on City Walk. And it's because like there's costumes in there and like it's owned by Universal or it's, you know, it, it's a Universal theater. So there's always some cool stuff that that's happening there. And then I'm probably gonna go hang out with some of my friends at work and grab a drink. So not a lot happening today, mostly packing, but there's a few things. to this place for magic. We come to AMC theaters to love, to cry, to care. So I thought that coming on a Monday in the middle of September meant that it was gonna be like empty, um, but it's not kind of busy which I was very shocked about. I went on the mummy first thing and luckily they have a single rider line but it was already at 45 minutes for like the park just opening. Um, everything else is already like long lines like an hour long and it's just me so there's certain rides that I want to wait for for the single rider to open up just because like it, again it's just me. Um, so I normally do the like the the tram tour way later in the day when I need a break but looks like that's what we're doing
as you can see, it's dark outside. Um, so really I've got one day left here. Um, it's, it's pretty much just been packing and, and trying to make sure that everything's together and ready and getting everything I need to cancel, like my electricity and my Wi-Fi, and making sure everything is good. Um, I did have a little bit of fun earlier this week, as you saw, but as we're coming down to the wire here, um, these last couple nights, I kind of decided that, I mean, obviously I have everything packed and I've pretty much eaten all of my food down and I don't, so, you know, Eating out when you're moving is kind of what people do anyway. But I decided that my last two nights, I'm gonna go to two places that I really like here that are pretty much only here. Um, one of them I think is in some other places, but most of their locations have shut down. So for tonight, we are starting, um, not starting, but you know, out of the two days. Um, tonight, I'm doing Takaya, which is this absolutely phenomenal, really authentic, like healthy Mexican place. Um, but their stuff is absolutely delicious. I love getting it. And it's only here in Southern California. And I think they have a couple of locations in Arizona, but it's absolutely fabulous. This is their chili verde bowl. And so I got a chote chicken and it has this chili verde sauce on top and it has kale and cucumber and and cilantro lime rice and avocado Ugh. oh my gosh it's just delicious and then i got some extra limes on the side because i like my limes oh it's gorgeous it's beautiful it's delicious i love it i can't believe today is my last day in la Tomorrow morning, we move to Sacramento. It's, um, I don't know, it's a lot. I, uh, I had work this morning at Starbucks, hence the, the Starbucks shirt. And then I took some recycling to the recycling center. And today is basically, I have to take some stuff to Goodwill. They're not open yet. So I need to take some stuff to Goodwill when they open, pack, my car as much as I can with stuff and then clean like clean out the fridge clean the sinks and the bathtub and do a little bit of vacuuming and then I have to take apart my bed frame um and I'll sleep on the floor tonight <laughs> and then what else do I have to do today um oh I have to take my my router back so drop that off at UPS or FedEx or wherever and uh yeah and I think that's all I have left to do here and then I'm ready for tomorrow it's sad for sure like saying goodbye to everyone at work today sucked um and I'm gonna go stop by tomorrow before I leave to say goodbye to even more people but I don't know. This was like, this was the, the dream and it, it, you know, happened, but it wasn't the dream, you know, like I made it work and I was here and I love being here for the most part, but like, I didn't have the funds to go do the things I wanted to. I wasn't getting the career started that I had dreamed about. It wasn't, it wasn't what I was hoping for, you know? But it's still sad to be leaving because it's almost like, cause I'm not, I'm not leaving the dream behind cause that still is the dream and I'm still planning on making it work and figuring out the best way to get back here. But yeah, I don't know. Not a whole lot left to do, but we'll get it done and then tomorrow we say goodbye. Oh my God, it's been a day. I've gotten a lot done. Um, I just went and returned my 
modem for AT&T and got all that Wi-Fi stuff sent back. So that's good. And then yesterday, I mentioned there were two places that I was going to do yesterday, last night, and then what I'm going to do today. And I was going to do it tonight, but I was hungry and it's like four o'clock. So it's like, it's Leonard. It's Leonard. Um, and that is Bob's Big Boy. I love Bob's Big Boy. It is such good burgers, um, but there's not a whole lot of them left. They're kind of like, it's, it's a diner. It's a fun diner and their prices are decent and it's good food. So that was what I wanted on my final night and that's what I got. So tomorrow we say goodbye. But yeah, I'm on the floor now. Um, yeah, my walls are all torn apart because that's what it's been since uh, the hurricane. So really fun. Love that for me. Um, but there's my bed frame all torn apart and boxes everywhere. Kitchen's fully cleaned and the bathroom's cleaned and I think we're got a little bit left to do, but we're pretty much done. All right. Everything's going. This is it. Peace out. See you later, LA. Don't know why it's raining today, but hope to be back soon.